What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about some tips and tricks to help give you a bigger back uh, and also maybe some tips on why your back isn't growing that you can implement into your training. So keeping this video really short, sweet to the point, let's get into it. All right, so for your new channel, make sure you guys give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of the videos that are coming out. Before we get into the nitty gritty of the tips that I wanna talk about, one of the first things that I started implementing that really helped build a bigger and stronger back was actually doing some pre-warm-up sets to build that mind-muscle connection. I think a lot of times we're using too much bicep and other muscles instead of using our lats and the muscles when hit with our back. So doing a warm-up just to get blood flow to the back is gonna help better that mind-muscle connection for your training session. One of my favorite movements to get blood flow to the back and the lats is gonna be doing a lat pull down, maybe a single arm lat pull down, uh, or even some dumbbell rows. I like to hit anywhere from 15 to 30 reps, just to get blood flow there, light weight, and feeling the uh, muscles in the back moving properly. My first little tip when it comes to training the back specifically is to use these guys right here, straps. Now we don't wanna rely on these straps all the time. However, for working our heavy sets, I highly recommend using straps because what it's gonna do is take the bicep and other muscles that we don't wanna work out of the equation and just focus all of the stress on the back and the lats. Also, another added bonus is recent studies. It talks about having a pronated grip is better for lat activation than a supinated grip. So when you put these straps on, it automatically is keeping you in that pronated grip whenever you're doing any barbell work or any sort of pulling motions. So one of the next biggest tips and game changers uh, for me personally and a lot of clients that I work with is actually how they are rowing and the technique of the row. Uh, this can be used for a dumbbell row, seated row, whatever. Um, but mainly what I see too many people doing is when they have the dumbbell, they're kind of jerking their body up like so, and the elbow is traveling straight up like this. Okay, we're recruiting a lot of muscles that we're not trying to hit. When we do the row, the whole point of this is to hit the lat, okay, in the lower end of the lat. So a big game changer for me is when I have the dumbbell, Okay, let my lat fully uh, lengthen. And what I wanna do is think about pulling my elbow back. Okay, so think back and all the way down. Back and all the way down. Almost in this swooping or arc-like motion. Feel that in your lat a lot more um, instead of using your biceps and your shoulders and your traps, okay? We really wanna focus on that arc and swoop. So if you guys have been following the channel for some time, you know I'm a huge fan of deadlifts and more recently I've gotten into them more and more as I'm on the pursuit of getting a 800 pound deadlift. Uh, just from deadlifting more with the increased frequency and volume, I've noticed that my back, specifically my mid and lower back has gotten way bigger. Uh, so if you guys aren't deadlifting, make sure that's a staple in your training. And if you can increase the frequency to about one to two times a week with getting that volume in, and you're gonna notice a huge difference in the thickness and just overall uh, mass that you're gonna have with your back. All right, so a typical movement I see people doing all the time, and I used to be guilty of actually making the mistake, is with the lat pull down. Now with the lat pull down, what I see people doing is when they're doing their lat pull down, they let their chest kind of cave and their shoulders uh, protract forward, which is not what we want to do if we're looking to get as much muscle activation in the lats and back as possible. So what we want to actually do is bring our chest through. So almost think about having a proud chest and keeping that position as we drive our elbows down. Okay, so elbows come straight down and the chest stays proud. You'll see what happens when people get fatigued. They let their chest kind of cave, okay, and their shoulders round forward, and then they start pulling using their, um, their biceps mostly, and we're not actually even hitting the back nowhere near as much when we're pulling like this versus chest nice and proud, pulling elbows straight down every time. So if you're doing lat pull downs and you notice that happening, try to correct it as fast as possible. Don't worry so much about the heavy weight, focus on the form and the technique and that mind-muscle connection and you're gonna notice and feel it a lot more in your back and get that growth that you've been looking for. So if you guys are new to the channel, I am huge into strongman. My gym has a ton of strongman equipment and we have a lot of athletes who compete in strongman. I am also the 2019 USS Strongman Heavyweight Champion. So I do a lot of strongman and I train that way a ton. But what I have noticed is ever since I started doing strongman, that has really blown up my back size. 
And the reason I believe that this is happening is because of all the posterior chain involved when doing any strongman implement. So I know it's uh, maybe not the easiest thing to do, but if you can, start training more strongman uh, because it's gonna force you to use your back a lot more in ways that you probably haven't trained. So some of the implements that I really like to use, it's gonna be the log for log clean and press. That rolling motion, I think has really helped build a bigger and thicker back. Any sort of carry with a Husafel stone, a sandbag or a keg. Uh, and a lot of the events that you do in strongman require you to use your back uh, so that is my last tip is if you can get some of that stuff and make some of that stuff implement into your training and you're going to notice that your back is going to grow just from competing in the sport and training in the sport manner. The last thing I want to mention is that in order to build a big strong back you're going to need all the components. So don't neglect training your upper back and traps as well as your shoulders and I made a great video that I'll link right above here for you guys to go check that out. So if you combine this video plus that video and some of the other back and row variation videos I put out, you have the total package to build a really thick, massive, badass looking back. But in closing, if you guys like this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and give me your thoughts down below what you guys think has helped increase your back to be even bigger, thicker, and more badass. Stay Lean Mean Strike Machine. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.